What is up guys, Tomcat here, and today we are back in GTA 5, and this is the Blazer Aqua, and basically what this is, is a four-wheeler quad bike that can go on the water. Now, what we're going to be doing with this is, as we've been doing in the uh, in the past few GTA videos, we're going to be turning the power up, but it'll be cool to see what it'll do on the land versus what it does on water. And I'll tell you why, because it'll do about 70-ish miles an hour on the water, and about 30 uh, or sorry, about 70-ish miles an hour on the, uh, on land, and about 30-ish on the water uh, in stock form. I think it does about 29 on the water top speed, and it does somewhere around between 68 and 70-some-odd miles an hour uh, on pavement. So it does well, about 72, 73. Actually, I was a little bit off. But um, we're going to turn the power up a little bit first, see what it can do. Then we're going to take it, I guess, sort of off-roading. I mean... <laughs> on the water is kind of off-roading. You're off the road. It's just not your normal general type of off-roading. So vehicle options wise first thing we're gonna do is Head straight to the customs area and turn the turbo on now. Do we have any extras? Nope. We do not uh, suspension Make it competition, which I don't know how much that'll do for us, but uh, Let's see brakes race brakes just upgrade everything all the way uh, wheels, oh god, we can do, like, pretty much anything for this. This is gonna be cool. What about, like, off-road? Those actually look really good. They look really good, and they give you the off-road tires, too. So, this is with the turbo and the fully built engine, so it would do, like, 70-ish before. Now it'll do well past that. It'll do, like, 83, and that was in a corner. So let's give it a little bit of a go on this straight away and see what it does. 90 plus, wow. Will it do 100? No, it will not. It will top out at right about at 90, and that seems to be what it, like, seems to be the max that it'll do. So, now we get to start turning the, what up? <laughs> now we get to start turning the power up, and turning the power up is usually the most fun part about this kind of thing. So, let's see. Where's our, oh, I also turned on auto repair, so, because in the tank video, you guys were like, uh, turn auto repair on, and I didn't even know that was a thing, so it's on now, we should be good to go. So, horsepower multiplier would put them both at, uh, I think 50 right off the, well, uh, 50 is, is not really that much, we'll go straight to 100, I think, on the first, the first one, because we've been going to 50 a lot, and I think that we may as well just go to 100, um, and, because if we go to a straight to 100, then it'll give us a little bit of an idea of what this thing's gonna be like later on down the road, once we get, you know, crazy, insane with, um, with the power itself. Because, if 50, you know, 50 is crazy, but it's not, you know, it's not super insane, but I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, anything past 50, and yeah, it starts to get pretty intense. So, 99, 100. Alright, so this is 100 both horsepower and torque. So it gets out of the hole very fast, spins the top. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna have to be careful. I forgot that this was an open top vehicle. And I really forgot that it was an open top, but I forgot that it was gonna be that, like, there were gonna be that much of, there was gonna be that much of a consequence. Ow. For hitting things. Yeah, this is by far the fastest quad bike ever now. Um, and we're gonna probably... We're gonna probably beat that record later on down the road. But, oh god. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do as well? I'm gonna turn traffic off. That's what, uh... Let's see. Mm, player options, weather options... Miscellaneous, there we go. Uh, decreased vehicle population. That's what I needed. Okay, so now we don't have to worry about hitting traffic, or at least we shouldn't. Give it a- uh, I was like, give it a minute to despawn. Oh, crap. The game froze for a second. I was like, uh, this is not good. Alright, so. Traffic should pretty much be all gone now. This isn't good, though. We're kind of stuck now. Come on! Oh, this is stupid. This is the stupidest thing I've ever seen in GTA. Alright, freaking, there we go. I was like, get the hell out of there. Alright, so what's the water performance gonna be like? The thing about when it goes is that it doesn't really, it, it can't really turn. So it does 53 on the water, which is pretty quick, I have to say. Pretty quick compared to what it was stock. But on land, it's like twice that fast. 
I'm also curious as to see what it's going to do when we take it off-road. Because, after all, it is an off-road vehicle. And we put off-road tires on it for a reason. So, we're going to have to hit the, the mountains right there. And see, actually, that should... What we've, what we've done should be able to um, make it... Make it climb stuff that it couldn't climb before. What up, hiker dude? Oh my god. This is nuts. That was like 130 already. This is nuts. Oh my god, this is nuts. It's, 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 it's glitching the game. The game's like, I don't know what the hell to do with myself now. Holy shit. Oh my god. Ooh, stop. Please. Okay. So, next up I think is probably going to be the mountains over here because clearly as we can tell it had no problem getting up what we just threw it at. So, or threw at it I should say. But these over here should be good. Oh, we'll make this easy. We'll make this easy. Oh god, yeah. <laughs> Dude, I barely even tapped the gas. I ba barely even tapped the gas to get it to clear that jump, just so you know, and it did it no problem. Okay. So how about something like this, huh? Yeah, not even a- dude! Holy hell, not even a problem. Normally you can't even come close to getting up stuff this steep. But this, even without upgrading the grip, this does it- effortlessly. Although, if you could get up, please, so we can get our quad bike back, I would- I would very much like that. Please tell me we can get back on it. There we go. Oh god, thank you. Ooh, stop, stop, stop. I didn't mean to whip it around like that. It just- it- The way it drives, it just kind of does that. And I'm not making that up. It literally just kind of does that. Kind of have to be on and off the power. <laughs> Because of the fact that we've added so much power, but we haven't really added any grip, you have to be on and off the power, because if you're not on and off the power, it can be a little hairy from time to time. But it still makes it no problem. Oh dear. Oh dear god. There, 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 there. Now go straight. Well, maybe not straight. She's not going. Oh, I'm in reverse, and I have the handbrake on, and it's still not- not helping. <laughs> it's like, yeah, bro, you need to, like, rethink what you're doing right here. What the- Two random deer just came out of freaking nowhere! Holy crap, what the hell? That makes no sense. Okay, this is sliding around so much. It almost makes me wonder- okay, yeah, the grip is- Definitely a factor to the point of where if you, like, if you don't have enough grip, it doesn't matter how much power you have. Even in GTA. Even in GTA. Oh, God. Oop, that was a spin, and that was, wow. Will you... Okay, we need to see, once and for all, I want to see how fast this thing is. Before I, I mean... We could go crazy with the power, but I don't think it would make much difference. I feel like it would be slightly undrivable. So, what I'm gonna do is... No! Go up to the map. And find... Let's see. Hmm... This stretch of highway should do just fine. So, we're gonna go ahead and teleport right here. And... Which is very simple with what we're running right here. Let's see... Teleport options. And then you just click waypoint, and you're right there. So, that is a amazing benefit to running this menu system. Holy hell! It does 335 only on a, um, only on the, oh god, oh god, oh god. Only on 100, like, multiplied on both. <gasps> Dead. Well, not quite. Oh my god. Thing is, since that's the only vehicle around, let's see. Teleport to... Waypoint, mission objectives, map blips. What do you mean, not, not closest vehicle? I think it'll be up there. It'll be back where we left it. It should be back where we left it. Come on, for God's sake. 
falling off your freaking quad bike in the middle of nowhere. Where did it go? What the hell? It's all the way over there? All right, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You know what? I can speed this up. I can speed this process up. Oh, yes. Much better. Okay. So, we're still on times 100 on both of these. And I want one more attempt. It's so hard to control. That's 335. Oh, turn, 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 turn. It wasn't made for this. What the bloody hell? Okay, th things do weird, strange things in GTA when you turn the power up this far. You know what? Yeah, teleport forward. Okay. I'm slightly concerned as to what will happen when I do what I'm about to do, but I'm going to do it anyway because... Well, that's just kind of how things go around here. You, you, you... You may not be sure about how something will go, but you're willing to try it no matter what. So the more we turn the power up, I'm going to keep driving this thing around to see how it does as we turn the power up. F frankly, it's just going to get up to 335 faster. Like, there's not not really much else it it's going to do except for get to 335 faster than it did before. So we're almost to 300, well, kind of like 250. I'm turning it up as we go just to like just to see how it in how the responsiveness increases as we keep going but i honestly don't think this thing needs much more it really doesn't we're over 300 now and the game can barely keep up with it oh geez oh geez oh geez oh geez stop that kind of well the weird thing is that it stops like it just automatically stops it just stops in the middle of like except for right there and also, what's strange is we're off the vehicle. The vehicle is where? Here? And we're still multiplying the power. Oh my god, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. <laughs> Keep it away from the middle of the road. Oh my god. I think, honestly, 500 or times 500 is as high as I'm going to go. That's as high as I'm going to... I hear... You're a car, a car horn. I thought I got rid of all the vehicles. Yeah. Uh. Stop. 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 Yeah. Um. Times five hundred is as high as I'm gonna go because that's as high as I frankly need to go. Okay. Can you just stay on the damn like quad bike for even a second? We've got a fairly open stretch here though, so I'm gonna see what happens. Oh, it does a burnout all right. And it also goes. It goes quite well. We're already over 300. That's 335. Top speed. It could... Oh, it's barely staying under control. Oh! And that's that. So... Oh my god, it landed right next to us. But... <laughs> um, if you guys... Oh, wait. I was about to say, if you guys enjoyed, then I'll see you in the next one. But I just realized there's one last thing we have to do. One last thing. And that is water. We have to see how this thing does on the water. At times 500. Oh my god. This is nuts. This is nuts. <laughs> it's actually amazing though. Because it pulls a wheelie and just stays. Look. <laughs> That's amazing. Ooh, look out. What up? Well, it actually, you can adjust it in the air, which is super cool. Okay, 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 okay. So on the water, it's quite fast. And on the land, it's, it's even faster. And it's scary in both places. But if you guys enjoyed this video GTA 5, don't forget to hit that like button. Tell me in the comments below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. I'll see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later.